The Haunting of Manor Woods, Uncovering the Sinister Secrets of the Ancient Coven. In The Haunting of Manor Woods, Uncovering the Sinister Secrets of the Ancient Coven, a spine-chilling tale unfolds as a cabin mysteriously materializes amidst the tranquil woods surrounding an old manor. Join us on this gripping journey. I never thought I would die in such a horrific way. But here I am, writing this story from beyond the grave, hoping that someone will find it and learn the truth. The truth about the cabin in Manor Woods and the ancient coven that haunted it. It all started when I saw the cabin for the first time. It was a sunny day and I was taking a walk in the woods near the old manor where I lived. I had explored these woods many times before, but I had never seen this cabin. It looked old and decrepit, as if it had been there for centuries. But how could that be? I was sure it wasn't there yesterday. I was curious, so I decided to take a closer look. As I approached the cabin, I felt a chill in the air and a sense of dread in my heart. Something was wrong about this place. Something evil. I should have turned back then, but I didn't. I was too stubborn, too determined to find out what was going on. I opened the door and stepped inside. That was my first mistake. The cabin was dark and dusty, filled with cobwebs and rotten furniture. It smelled like death and decay. On the walls, there were paintings of grotesque figures and symbols, some of them dripping with blood. On the floor, there were candles and bones forming a pentagram. In the center of the pentagram, there was a book. That was my second mistake. I picked up the book and opened it. It was written in a language I didn't recognize, but somehow I could understand it. It was a book of spells and rituals, belonging to a coven of witches that had lived in these woods centuries ago. They had practiced their dark arts in this cabin, summoning demons and sacrificing humans. They had also cursed the land, making sure that their presence would never fade away. As I read the book, I felt a surge of power in my veins and a voice in my head. It was the voice of the coven's leader, a woman named Lilith. She spoke to me, telling me that she had been waiting for me, that I was her chosen one, that I could join her and her sisters in their eternal glory. That was my third mistake. I listened to her voice and I believed her. She promised me knowledge and power beyond my wildest dreams. She said that all I had to do was to complete one final ritual, to seal my bond with her and her coven. She said that it would be easy, that it would only take a few minutes. She lied. The ritual required me to cut my hand and drip my blood on the book. As soon as I did that, I felt a sharp pain in my chest and a coldness in my soul. Lilith laughed in my head, telling me that she had tricked me, that she had used me as a vessel for her return. She said that she had taken my life force and that she would use it to resurrect her coven and unleash their wrath upon the world. She said that I was doomed. As I collapsed on the floor, gasping for air, I realized what I had done. I had unleashed an ancient evil that had been dormant for centuries. I had doomed myself and everyone else. I tried to scream, but no one heard me. I tried to escape, but it was too late. I died in that cabin, alone and afraid. Please, if you're reading this, stay away from the cabin in Manor Woods. Stay away from the ancient coven. Stay away from Lilith. She is coming for you. So, there you have it. A scary story about something that happened to a young woman. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more scary stories.